What's up, Loud and Proud crowd? We are back with another video, and this is a very, very different one. It's a very new thing for Loud and Proud. Um, a lot of you obviously probably guessed the body style and make of the truck, obviously, by the steering wheel. It's got a bow tie on it, and this interior is for certain you know, group year of trucks. Um, but we are in a Duramax. Okay, so this is my first Duramax I've ever bought. And I told you guys that after this OBS giveaway is over and that truck was gonna be leaving, which hasn't left yet. And by the way, the giveaway winner for that truck will be announced within five to seven days. And they will be getting called by an attorney to go over the legitimacy of the person to enter and all the other stuff just to make sure that they're qualified and everything. And then that's it. Qualified as in, if you're 18 or old, that's all. Uh, basically, uh, that's what's gonna be taking place within the next five to seven days, so keep your phones ready to possibly be getting a phone call. So just keep your phones on, keep them ready, and be paying attention. But anyways, all that aside, I picked up a 2008 LMM Duramax. And I did my research, and of course, everybody's gonna say, LBZ is the best, LBZ is the best, LBZ, so I get that. However, there's already some LBZ content on YouTube. There's already, actually, there's quite a bit of LBZ content on YouTube. There's a lot of LML content on YouTube. There's a lot of LLY content on YouTube. Like, all that stuff's already touched. And I personally haven't found anybody making a regular content or a build series on an LMM. Is it out there? Maybe. I, I really don't know. I haven't really researched Duramax content that much. All I know is from what I've seen from most of the go-to channels for truck content that's actually daily, not just like a random uploaded video. I don't see much of LMM, LMM content or this body style truck specifically. So this, that is one of the biggest reasons why I went with this truck. Um, it's a four door, full four door, short bed configuration. And you guys will see around the truck in just a minute. I got a really good deal on the truck, I feel like. Um, it wasn't like a steal of a deal, but I definitely didn't overpay for the truck. And I'm not gonna get into prices because we know how people are. Over in California, I get a better deal on the truck or I spent more down in, it doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? So there's no, there's no need to say. Um, but I do feel like I got a good deal on the truck and I am very happy with it thus far. I've had it for, you know, obviously only today, but the response is amazing. The sound is amazing. It does roll a little cool, and it does have some get up and go. Like it moves really good. It's just, I don't know who tunes it. I know that the guy said that um, he took it down to Fleece Performance to have them do the work on it to make sure that the tuner was um, properly hooked up and everything was in top shape. And then it's obviously deleted and all that jazz. So that's good to hear that it's been deleted for several years now. The truck has 154,000 miles on it, which isn't bad. And then also, this truck, if you look up the information on the LMM Duramax, it's basically, the guts of it are basically the same as an LBZ. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, obviously, if you're a diehard Duramax guy, you probably know that. But a lot of people don't realize that the LMM is actually really almost the exact same thing as an LBZ. The only difference is obviously the emission stuff. The emission stuff was a little more strict on these trucks, and that was really the only main difference. The injectors are a little bit different size, and the emissions equipment was a little bit more strict on the truck. And other than that, which the truck's deleted now, so that's not really much of an issue at all. Actually, really not at all anymore. The truck's pretty much, the gist of it is mostly the same backbone as the uh, LBZ Duramax. So I'm actually really excited about that. Anyways, we're gonna get to doing a full reveal here in just a minute. It's a pretty sharp looking truck. Here's a 2008 LMM Duramax diesel, and this is a pretty clean truck, very clean truck. For being a truck that's up north here, it's very, very clean. You can see the bumpers aren't all rusted out and crap. The bed's not all beat up. There's no dents all over the bed sides and crap or big gashes. Like I said, it's, it's really dirty, so that doesn't help, but in terms of actual rust and bad stuff that you gotta watch out for, it's, it's very, very clean. Runs good. 
But I mean, this thing just pulls going down the road, man. I mean, it just yanks. Really clean interior. We've got the WeatherTech floor mats in it, which is nice. Because everything underneath is, I mean, it's perfect. Right here you've got a fiance. Oh, there she is. Um, but yeah, runs good. It runs really good. I actually love the smoked cab lights with the LEDs in it. Yeah, she's good. She runs good. Let's take a look under the hood here. Dusty. Hasn't been driven much this winter. She runs good. She purrs like a kitten. I don't actually have like an official build plan for this truck. I took some votes regarding um, you know, flatbed, uh, ranch hand front bumper, all this stuff. But I really want you guys to think this through. If you were to be driving this truck, practicality wise, practicality but also just cool factor, because not everything has to be practical to be a sweet truck. I mean, it's a, it's a freaking sweet truck regardless. But in terms of the coolest way you could build this truck, what would you do? Would you do ranch hand bumper and flatbed? Or would you do just like off-road front bumper, aggressive tactical off-road rear bumper, tactical step bars, or completely get rid of the running boards altogether? Would you lift it? Would you not lift it? Would you just level it? Would you do four inch? Would you do six inch? Would you do eight inch lift? What would you do? Would you change up the headlights? What would you guys do to this truck? Because like I said, I want to bring you guys content on what you guys want to see. Because that's, I mean, a lot of that is the goal of this. I mean, this is what I do. So let me know what you would do to this truck with a budget of five to $10,000, what would you do to this truck? What would you change? How would you build it the way you would want it? Leave the comments down below. I mean, this is just, it's a really pretty truck. It really is really clean. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I know it wasn't very long, but it's getting dark here pretty quick and we've got something else we're already gonna be doing to the truck, which isn't a permanent mod, but it is an upgrade that we're gonna do on it just to see how it looks on this truck. You guys are gonna have to wait and see. No, we're not gonna be putting the 40s on the truck. It wouldn't fit, but we are gonna be doing something on the truck here that's gonna give it a completely different aggressive look really, really quick. You guys might know where I'm going with that and uh, it's just gonna be a temporary thing, but it, it's gonna look really good, I think. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave those comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of the new truck for the channel the 2008 LMM Duramax diesel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to everybody who entered in the giveaway for that truck. It means a lot. You guys' support means the world to me, it means the world to Reagan, and uh, just everybody involved with what I do and what we've been doing here. Um, it just really is just, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's just, uh, it's just really, really cool. And we are so close to 100,000 subscribers. So another massive thank you to you guys for that too. Uh, it's just been unbelievable. It's, it's been one heck of a ride and I cannot wait to see where things go from here. So thank you guys so much. Leave a fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not done so yet. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.